WebStorm 9 comes with support for Gulp. Here we have the Web Starter Kit project from Google, and it's using a Gulp file. So immediately, if I open this Gulp file, I can see that I get completion. So I can use completion to write my Gulp file. But in addition, I have the ability to run tasks, debug tasks, etc. Let's see how it works. The first thing we'll notice is that we have a new tool window, which is for Gulp. And this lists all of the different tasks that are available in my Gulp file. On any of these, I can just right click and hit run, debug, or jump to source. And we can see that we also have shortcuts to make it much faster. So basically, if I want to run something, all I need to do is select it and hit enter. And that will run the Gulp task for me. In addition, we can debug. Let's first of all select, for instance, images and jump to the source. And that takes us directly to that task inside the Gulp file source. And we're going to set a breakpoint here. We can now right click on this and hit debug images. And that will launch the debugger and stop on the actual breakpoint from where we can then examine all of the different variables, etc., that are taking part and step over and run to complete the execution. We can not only execute tasks of Gulp using the tool window, but also from inside the file directly. So for instance, if I were to right click somewhere on the file, I would get a run configuration, which is run default, and that would run the default task of the Gulp file. If I were to right click anywhere on the actual Gulp task, then it would run that task. So for instance, I could run JS hint from the file directly. Every time we do a run or debug, WebStorm creates a run configuration for us. So we can see here that we have a bunch of run configurations already created, which means that we can also obviously run this from the run configuration box at the top, selecting the one we want and then hitting run or debug. But we can also create run configurations either manually or just right clicking and saying create HTML. And what this will do is create a run configuration for us, which will then later be available. Finally, we can also execute the run gulp task, which is the shortcut alt F 11. And from there, select a task, for instance, serve with fast searching and hit enter and run the task directly. We can also invoke this tool window using the run gulp task runner, and that will prompt it up. And again, we can do the same thing. With these features, WebStorm makes integration with gulp so much easier and accessible directly from inside the IDE.